Okay, until now I was using OnePlus Pad only for the purpose of little bit of gaming and watching OTT platforms. But now OnePlus have released a new software update which includes this communication sharing feature. This lets you use 5G services, you can also use mobile data sharing and even messaging sharing. And here you can also see a screenshot wherein I am getting a call on my OnePlus Pad. So we'll talk about everything what new have been added with this latest update for OnePlus Pad. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus Pad. First of all, let me show you the software information. If you go to about section, I've already updated the device to the latest build of Oxygen OS, which is 13.1.0.529, which comes with 5th June 2023 security patch. And since the day I have purchased this OnePlus Pad, I've never seen any kind of throttling issues unlike other OnePlus smartphones. Even on OnePlus 11, there are a lot of throttling issues. And the same thing we performed on OnePlus Pad using high performance mode before and after the update. On previous update, maximum CPU had throttled up to 86%, but on this latest build, the maximum CPU throttled up to 90%. You can see high performance mode was turned on and the test was done with 100 thread up to 60 minutes. And the same thing goes with Geek Benchmark application. Here are the results before update wherein single core had scored 1623 and multi core scores were 3956. But on this latest build with single core scores are 1669 and multi core scores are 4171. So OnePlus have been continuously improving on the OnePlus pad. We know initially when it was launched, there are a lot of bugs and UI was not that friendly. But I've been observing OnePlus continuously improving on the UI of OnePlus pad. If I show you the change logs first, so here under about section, you can see everything was layered to system. Wherein they have added a new feature later, some minor fixes have been done. And I'm not saying OnePlus have completely fixed the issues. There are still places where improvements are required. And before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel. And as said, OnePlus still needs to fix few more things on OnePlus Pad and one of them is layered to refresh rate. So if you guys are aware that OnePlus Pad do have the support of 144Hz, but if you see it only supports maximum 120Hz. There are very less applications and one of them is Google Chrome which supports 144Hz and this issue have been there since the day one. OnePlus haven't fixed it. So there's no use adding 144Hz if it doesn't support on your basic UI and even the stock applications. For example, if you take the file manager application, it still supports 120. Another example, you take gallery, 120Hz, notes, etc. Applications like Chrome and Enter2 Benchmark do have the support of 144Hz. And another thing which I would like to ask you guys, for example, if I open application like Instagram, so you can see this only appears in the center of the screen. Though we have the option to switch towards left or right, I'm not sure this is how application opens on pads this is my first pad which i have been using because most of the application opens in such a way for example one was instagram second if you take facebook here we don't even get the option to move the app towards the right side or the left side but here you can see i am able to swipe the stories or the feed from the empty space also so not sure this is how apps open on larger screen you guys let me know in the comment section below and another thing which haven't fixed and that's layer 2 auto rotation so whenever we tilt the oneplus pad it takes few milliseconds to respond to the rotation this doesn't happen on ipads which i have seen in the videos ipads instantly turns whenever you rotate the screen but here oneplus pad takes few milliseconds to respond to the rotation and one thing oneplus have finally fixed and that's the app permission pop-up so for example if i open up the oneplus file manager if the device in landscape mode and if i get this pop-up of permission previously device automatically used to rotate in portrait mode even if you are using the device in landscape mode but that have been finally fixed with this newer build and now let's finally talk about that feature which oneplus have added which is called communication sharing and this can be found under multi-screen connect. Previously, we had only these three things, screen mirroring, contact sync and app relay. 
but now we have an option of communication sharing and with this you can also enjoy the 5g services on your oneplus pad so let me show you how does it work so here you can see i have my oneplus 11 with me on both the devices i have my similar oneplus account so it automatically gets connected you can see it says oneplus 11 5g same account now if i go to communication sharing not every oneplus smartphone have this feature of communication sharing right now i think it's only present on oneplus 11 i'm not sure about oneplus 10 pro also so here you can see we have three options which is mobile data sharing calling sharing and messaging sharing so how does mobile data sharing works on my oneplus pad i have disconnected my wi-fi connection though wi-fi should be turned on and on your oneplus 11 you need to enable wi-fi and once you do that you can see I'm getting the 4G plus though sometimes on my Geo SIM card I do get 5G but right now here it's 4G so I'm getting 4G itself and if both your devices are in the close proximity approximate in the range of 10 meters and if you get a call on your OnePlus 11 that call can be answered from OnePlus pad so let me show you one of the example if I call upon my number so here you can see I'm getting the call on both my numbers and if I pick up the call from my OnePlus pad on OnePlus 11, the system automatically mutes the call. But now you can talk to the person using the OnePlus pad. So this is a very useful feature and it should have been added when OnePlus pad was initially released. So mobile data sharing, you guys can already see. Calling, I've already shown you. And the last feature which you guys can enjoy on your OnePlus pad and that's the messaging sharing. So let me send a message on the same number and you'll see a pop-up on both these phones or both the devices. Here you can see. If I want, I can reply from my OnePlus pad also. So this feature brings a new life to OnePlus pad. Till now, I was only using my OnePlus pad for a little bit of gaming and watching OTT platforms. And I'll be coming up with the full review of this OnePlus pad. So if you guys have any kind of questions, do let me know in the comment section below so that I can cover them in the full review video. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.